Hello all, in this video we will talk about the USB capabilities of EFM32 GG12 Thunderbolt. So we have been talking about uh, uh, how to utilize the peripherals, right? So in that process, today we will talk about the USB. So if we see the Thunderbolt, <coughs> there are actually two USB connectors that we see, which are USB micro B connectors. So one connector which we have been showing you how to connect and power up the board this actually we are using for the debug usb where we have an onboard debugger on the back side of this board and we are trying to power up the board as well as debug uh, the efm32 controller that is here using this debug usb now there is one more usb connector here as as we circled okay this is the connector, right? So this is also a micro B connector, which actually is uh, the peripheral of uh, the EFM32 uh, GG12 controller, microcontroller, which is there on the board. So the USB lines from here directly are routed to this uh, particular um, uh, connector so that you can use the USB capabilities of this controller. So uh, let us look at how uh, <coughs> Uh, the power flows um, with this and uh, this connector uh, before talking about the other USB peripherals. So these uh, um, diagrams are from the user manual of USB uh, 32GG12 <coughs> EFM 32GG12 microcontroller. So the USB is mainly used to power uh, the thunderbird right this thunderbird which we are using um, is has been powered uh, in the previous examples as we mentioned using the debug usb okay so uh, in the debug usb um, when we are um, connecting from an external pc uh, there is a 5 volts that is being supplied and this 5 volts is converted to 3.3 volts using the onboard regulator. So this <coughs> onboard regulator further powers the actual MCU EFM32GG12 microcontroller. We can see here this is called VMCU rail which is the output of this LDO and it powers. So this mode is called a self-powered mode where the onboard regulator powers the um, chip instead of uh, directly the 5 volts powering the chip. Now there is one more mode of uh, powering this particular uh, uh, chip which is called bus powered mode. What do we mean by bus powered mode is as we have shown in the previous video there is a USB peripheral that is being routed to uh, the uh, USB micro B connector right. So that uh, through that you can have 5 volts and this 5 volts will be provided to the USB 5 that is there inside this EFM32 GG12 and there is also an internal regulator which can uh, which is basically an LDO low dropout regulator and it can give up to 200 milliamps of current which is sufficient enough for the USB peripheral to work and then this LDO further generates output which comes out through a pin called VREG goods O oh, and this powers the VMCU uh, of this controller that means the internal LDO of uh, EFM32 GG12 is used to convert from 5 volts to 3.3 volts. <coughs> this configuration is called a bus powered mode. So the, one of the common uh, um, scenarios that we see here is basically we are powering the main controller <coughs> with 3.3 volts. So, in self-powered mode, remember that the switch that is there on FM32 GG12 uh, Thunderbolt um, should be in debug USB mode, this side you can see here. Okay, whereas um, if we are using uh, a bus powered mode, we will have uh, the switch towards MCU USB mode. So this switch, whatever is there, uh, we, we have to change the switch position based on the mode that we are using. 
So the switch that we have been talking here is this particular switch you can see here. Um, so when you power the board from debug USB, you have to switch. You, have, you must have the switch on the debug USB side. And if you want to power this uh, uh, through this connector, um, you you must have the switch on MC USB side. So <clears throat> that's how you will uh, toggle the switch. Now um, this, as we said, is uh, uh, self uh, self powered mode uh, where you will provide the five volts and onboard regulator gives three point three volts to this controller. This uh side you will have something called bus powered because this volts will be given to the internal regulator and internal regulator that's the 3.3 volts and that will be given as a power to this uh, microcontroller um for the main power supply which which was named as vmco okay so this is how uh, the power uh, modes uh, using usb uh, are present on fm 32 gg 12 thunderbolt please post if you have any questions we will talk further about other topics on fm 32 gg 12